Hi, Kenyatta. This uh, video is for you, and I'm, I really, really hope that this helps you. This is my 12-year-old, Bethany, and she's in the process of growing out her natural nails, so please don't mind them if they look all a mess. Weird and, um, um, especially this one. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm going to show you how to use the cuticle nipper. That's oh, what no. this instrument right here is. It's called a cuticle nipper, and honestly, a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that the epinechium, which is the skin up around this area of the nail is the cuticle it is not so I'm going to show you exactly what the cuticle nipper is for I'm going to see if I can find one of her fingers that has some cuticle on it <laughs> apparently it's not going to be those try one of these, these yeah one. I think this one okay yeah. so we're going to use this finger basically what you do is you soak your your client's finger and then you would normally apply a cuticle remover it's I'm sure you know what it is you're using the milady handbook and that's exactly the one we used in class as well all right so let's say we soaked our client's finger and we put our cuticle remover on there and what you do is you use your pusher and you're going to push the dead skin back up off the finger. Do you see that dead skin lifting there? I will zoom in in a second. All right, so I'm going to show you guys exactly what this snipper is for. All right, if you look here, let me see if I can get this to focus. Okay, if you look here, you see this dead skin right here that's hanging. It's actually attached to the nail plate. Now, if I took a piece of tissue or something and I tried wiping that away and it doesn't come away, okay? See how it's still there? See that little piece of dead skin? This little piece of dead skin right here on the nail plate, that is exactly, that is your cuticle. That's what you're going to use your nail nipper for, okay? You're basically going to bump it. You're going to use this side of it this outer side and you're going to bump it up against the cuticle and push back this way and then you're going to lay it flat and nip tightly and then it should pull away easily. Never nip and pull because you can cause a bleed. The worst thing that you can do to a client's nail okay, would be to nip this skin, this clear little ridge right here that is, yeah, that hurt her, okay? When I lifted that, that hurt her. That's because that is not your cuticle. That is called your your epinechium, okay? It is live skin tissue, even though sometimes you clip it and you don't feel it. It is live skin tissue. And if you nip that, you are more likely to cause a bacterial infection because you're leaving an opening in the skin to the finger, okay? You do not ever want to nip that. Also, a huge mistake that some people make is when they're doing pedicures. When you do a pedicure, you should never, ever use this tool. I don't no. care who it is. I don't care who it's on. I know that your teacher or, you know, some people might tell you don't use the metal tools on a diabetic or anything. That's something you definitely shouldn't do. You should never use this tool on anyone, on anyone's toes. You should be using an orange wood stick, which we all know it looks like, or a pusher. Try not to use metal, t metal tools on a toe because the, the foot is constantly inside of a hot, damp shoe all day. Okay, so that's where most infections are going to come from. Um, but for the fingernails, I know you asked about how to use this tool. You basically, you want to push. It's for anything that's laying flat on the nail plate. The nail plate is all of this hard, you know, nail plate. Okay. So you would basically push, push the cuticle back with the cuticle pusher as you're going around in a circle. Okay, you push all that back, and anything that does not scrape off with your cuticle pusher, you would definitely take this tool, bump it up against the edge, and nip it flat off the plate, okay? Just to clear the nail plate. That's all this tool is for. You do not use this, oh, I got skin on there. You do not use this tool to nip this 
clear area right up here okay that is called your eponychium underneath the front of your nail is your hyponychium and we all know that when you separate your hyponychium yeah. from your nail plate it hurts like hell <laughs> so you definitely don't want to be nipping this clear area up there you basically lay it on there and you're not pushing I'm not pushing really hard on her finger because these are sharp you're gonna poke somebody if you do that I lightly press and lay flat and nip flat Okay, and press really hard together so that it cuts the the cuticle and removes it from the nail plate. Basically, this person, my daughter right now, does not have any more cuticle on her nail plate and her nails ready to be prepped or whatever. She got the snaggly nail. But hopefully this helps you, um, Kenyatta, and anyone else, you know, really that needs help. Her nails really don't have a lot of um cuticle but i know that a lot a huge misconception is when people mistake this little ridge right here around your nail for for cuticle that is not cuticle it's live tissue and you should never nip it because you can cause a bleed and therefore uh your client will be more susceptible to infections so i hope this has helped you guys and rest assured, I will be taking care of my daughter's long, long nails very shortly. Um, I will talk to you soon. Take care.